Hey there, I'm Sean C. Davis, and I'm gonna show you how you can override Next.js's utility components to keep your code dry, clean, organized, and all that good stuff. Let's dive in. What I have here is the default Next.js starter. I've added a basic example page, which you can see pulled up and running in the browser on the right side of my screen. Now, there are two primary utility components that I tend to override more than any others. And those are the link and the image component. Let's just take a look at the link component. So on this page, let's say that I wanted to, I, I want to add a link to my site. So I'm going to add this link component and it expects an href and we'll give it my website and say, click, click me. Wow, really struggling with the typing today. Okay, save that. And then over here in my browser, we see I can click me and I'm taken to the website that I wanted. Now we can also use internal links as well. So maybe this is a link to go home and, and maybe we'll, we'll put these in a list so that all right, clean that up so that they're they're on individual lines. Okay, nice and clean. So if I click home, I go home, and I so these are these are links. This is you're used to doing this. Now, what can happen is you can get into a situation where you find yourself doing the same thing over and over again. So this is great, clean, simple, no problems yet. But you see that we're using the next link component directly every time. Now, if there's some sort of functionality or styling consistency, properties, options, whatever it might be that I might want to add to this link component, then I'm going to have to do that every single time I use the link component directly. So a way to get around that is to add this layer of abstraction where we, we deliver our own link component and we will instead then use and inherit the next link component. Let me show you what I mean. What I'm going to do is add a components directory. And then in there, we will add a link component. Now this project is using TypeScript, but to keep things simple here, we'll just use plain old JavaScript, export a constant called link, take some properties. And for now, let's maybe just return a paragraph that says, I'm a link. Okay, and from here, we simply change this to point to our components directory. So you might have some uh, aliases set up, but in this case, we're going to assume that we don't. So we'll just uh, get, get there via our relative path. And now notice that this is not exported properly. And this is because I changed this to a named export. I'd like to do this to be explicit. I think it's a little bit easier for management throughout the next JS project. It's up to you. You can leave it as the default export if you want. But if you're going to do that, you would probably just do something like remove that export and then export default link, keep it simple. But I'm going to go back to my named export here. And now if I save this, we see that it just says, I'm a link twice. Okay, it means it's ignoring my href prop and it's ignoring the children as well. Okay, so once that base component is in place, what I'd like to do is just have my component in my project act as a pass-through component. So what I'll do is I will import link from next link. Now in this case, notice that I have link as the variable name coming in as the default export from next link, but it's also what I'm exporting as my component name. So I'm going to change the import to next link. And then all I'm really going to do here is I'm going to return next link and send it the props like so. And then notice my preview goes back to exactly where it was before. I can go home and I have the external link as well. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just paste in my logic, which is basically just saying that if my href property does not start with a slash, then I'm going to assume that it's an external link. This is super simple logic just to demonstrate what you can do with this. So I save that. And over here, now if I click home, I'm in the same tab, but if I go back to the page and click the external link, then I open it in a new window. So this was a really quick and simple example, but I hope you can use it and take it and apply it to your project so that you can abstract 
the next link and next image component to keep your code dry, clean, consistent, and organized. See you next time.